welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the lovely G here from Eve Makeup Artistry, Eve Lashes, and Genevieve Warburton on Instagram. You should definitely go and check her out. Um, today I did her makeup and what do we do? We just did something a bit more fun. Yeah. But it's fun and different. Well, obviously I don't do exclusively bridal, so you know, I want to do something a bit more fun. And G did my makeup as well, so we've recorded that for her channel. Yeah, so definitely go and check it out. I'll leave all her social links below. And of course, hope you enjoy the video and definitely give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because it really, really helps me out. And uh, yeah, so if you want to see how I created this beautiful look on this beautiful face, then uh, keep on watching. So to start off, I'm just going to use a makeup finishing spray from Scandinavia to start prepping the skin. Then I'm grab grabbing the Black Cosmetics um, Illuminating Veil Primer and the World Organics um, Organic Skin Co Primer, mixing them together and popping them all over her skin. Then I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I'm mixing in some um, powder highlighter from, I think it's called Sparkle Dust from Inglot. I'll leave all the links below to everything because I'm a bit crap at remembering the names. Then I'm just using that same petal brush to pop the foundation all over G's face and make sure it is a nice even coverage. Double Wear is a beautiful foundation with a beautiful finish. It's um, a medium to full coverage foundation. Then I'm grabbing this Organic Skin Co. This is also by World Organics. It's in the concealer in the Sculpt shade. And I'm using a Kabuki style, like a flat top brush to pop that onto her cheekbones, um, up around her forehead, just to really give a nice bronzy glow. I love how it just brings a little bit of life to the face. Then I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage um, Concealer and a um, Kabuki style eye brush and I am popping this under her eyes on her um, T-Zone um, Cupid's Bow and then I'm just buffing it in with the, um, with the Beauty Blender. This is a beautiful um, full coverage concealer and it blends out so well, it's so highly pigmented um, and doesn't really crease so it's a really really nice product. Then I'm using this rose gold shade. This is also like a high cream highlighter from World Organics, um, Organic Skin Coat. It is so nice and creates a beautiful natural looking glow to the skin. Then I'm setting under the eyes with some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm also just going to lightly dust this over um, G's T-Zone as well, down her nose. It sets the um, concealer beautifully, doesn't add any more coverage. And then I'm going to um, use the ambient lighting um, hourglass powder in diffuse light on a bigger fluffy brush and just blending that all over her face to set the rest of the base. Um, it has no color to it, just a nice um, kind of, it just brings light to the skin. You can see the glow from that rose gold um, highlighter from Organic Skin Co. Then I'm grabbing my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and Real Techniques brush and I am brushing that middle contour shade underneath her cheekbones. A little bit along her hairline but she doesn't need much contouring along there and then I'm grabbing a smaller blending brush and I'm just popping that down the sides of her nose to contour. I'm also bringing that contour shade right up um, into her eyebrows so it makes it look a little bit more natural um, than nose contour. Then I'm just um, using the yellow shade from the um, Kat Von D palette as well and just popping that under the eyes to really brighten the area. This is Bahama Mama um, bronzing powder from The Balm and I'm using an angled brush to just bronze up the rest of her skin and really set that um, sculpt shade that I used earlier just to um, really give her face some more um, definition and glow as well. Then this is the new um, rose highlighter from Longcom. It was the first time that I had used it, so it was really nice to experiment with it. This is the Kabuki brush that comes with the product, so I'm just popping that in. It actually gives quite a subtle sheen, or like a really subtle light pink glow. So if you're looking for a really beautiful subtle highlight, this is really, really nice. You can see there how very, um, subtle it is. I then grabbed another brush and I just dipped it in and went back over it because I really wanted a little bit more intensity. Then I used a little bit of the Inglot um, Sparkle Dust again and I'm just popping that down G's nose, Cupid's bow and the very very high points of her cheek just to give her a little bit more of a glow. This is MAC for Long Wear Blush in Malba which is my favourite blush for sort of everyday and also every look really, I love the way that it looks. Onto eyebrows, I'm brushing them up and then I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde 
and I'm just using an angled brush to pop that through G's brows. And then continue to brush the brows up so that the product gets dispersed evenly and um, making sure that it's not clumpy in her eyebrows. G has quite thick eyebrow hair but there is um, not a lot of length at the end of the brow so I'm just using the dip, dip brow to really um, fashion up her eyebrows and just make them really nice and fluffy that's what I was going for um, with this look. Then I've grabbed that concealer again and a like a flat brush and I'm using it just to clean out the bottom of the brow to give a bit more definition so that they're nice and fluffy on the top and a little bit cleaner underneath so it just kind of tidies them up a wee bit. Then I'm going to grab my um, Ardell brow palette and then I'm going to use that blonde shade and I'm just popping that through the eyebrows as well to set the dip brow and also just give that more fluffy effect. Then I grab my uh, Saucil Styler from Lancome which is my favourite brow gel and I am popping that through to set everything and make sure that the front hairs look really really fluffy and um, natural. I'm grabbing my soft ochre paint pot from MAC, this is my favourite base to use on um, clients and I'm just popping that down with a kabuki style um, eye brush and really buffing that in to make sure that it's a nice clean canvas for any shadows we put on over top. Then I'm just setting that with a translucent powder and then I'm going in with the peach palette from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm grabbing that nice light peach shade and I'm dusting that into the socket of G's. Um, eyes really just layering it down in, as a transition shade so that any other shades that go over top blend really really nicely. Then I'm grabbing the slightly darker peach colour and I am using a fluffy brush to blend that in. I'm really trying to build up the colour here. G has really really nice beautiful blue eyes so I really wanted to bring those out with this look. I'm just make, bringing that product into the um, crease and then also using those same two peach colours underneath the eyes as well to really make her blue eyes pop. What is missing from this palette is a darker shade so I'm grabbing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and I'm going to grab a darker shade from there and start popping it into the outer V um, crease area just to really deepen up the eye and just give it a little bit more definition and some smokiness to it as well. Um, I really thought that this kind of brought those um, like peachy shades together and then I'm dusting that also underneath her eyes as well. Once I've done that I'm just grabbing a light shade from the palette and popping that underneath her brow bone on like a flat shader brush. Then I'm grabbing the same concealer I used earlier and uh, an eyeshadow flat like synthetic brush and I'm using this to carve out a semi cut crease so I'm just using the concealer to do sort of like an um, semi circle shape on the inner corners of her eyes and bringing that out into the middle. By doing this you really clean up that inner area and it makes anything that you put on top of it um, like a shadow or a pigment really really stand out. It takes a little bit of practice to get these even but once you do it looks really really cool. So once I laid down the concealer I then took uh, another brush and I just blended the concealer gently into the shadow that I had already laid down. I then mixed MAC Melon Pigment with Inglot Duraline to create a beautiful goldeny, melony, um, blowy eyeshadow shade. As you can see, the pigment shows up so beautifully when mixed with Duraline and also on top of that concealer that we laid down. So I'm then just gently dabbing it on and then I am using those shades that I used earlier just to blend the MAC Melon Pigment into those. So there's not like a really harsh line between where I laid the um, semi cut crease and the rest of the shadow. Then I'm using a black shadow to just line the lash line on both the upper and outer 
uh, lid and then I'm using that Inglot um, Sparkle Dust again to um, highlight the inner corners of her eyes. Then I decided that Jean needed some more blush so I went in with the Too Faced Cover Don't Peach um, Blush, Illuminating Blush and popped that onto her cheeks. These are the Yuki Lashes from Eve Lashes which is uh, G's own eyelash brand. They're a beautiful, beautiful lash. I really encourage you guys to go and check them out. Um, they will be available really, really soon on her website, but I will leave the links to all of her um, social media and the Lash social media pages as well for you guys to check out. They're available on a subscription basis, or you can just buy them as one-offs as well, which is really cool. Once I pop the lashes on, I'm just going over top with some of them or that black shadow to make sure the lash um, band is blended in with her eyelashes. There's no fallout, just brushing away any fallout and brightening under the eyes. And then I'm grabbing Candy K uh, Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics and using that to outline the shape of her lips. And then I'm grabbing the matching um, liquid lipstick to go over top of that as well. Just using a lip brush for precision. And then I'm grabbing So Cute uh, Lip Gloss and going over top of that. It just lightens it a wee bit and just makes it um, a little bit more nude but also a little bit more luscious. And then to set everything, I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray again to make sure all the powders are melted and that it's all blended together beautifully and will also stay put. So that is the final look. I hope that you guys like this and thank you so much to G for being my beautiful model. Please do check out her social media links below and also mine and please subscribe if you like this video and of course leave any requests for anything you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.